Hey guys, so I just wanted to make this quick video just to say, you know, it's like a vlog. I post like a lot of videos on rejections and successes on cold calling. I thought it might give a little insight into what I'm doing to improve myself. So um, I used to have, um, uh, I used to be a super introvert. I actually, up until like November of 2023, actually, I had, um, I actually did not go out of my house a lot. Like I'd go out of the house maybe like once or twice a month for I think five years. I think I did that. I uh, barely talked to anyone. And that was not the first time I did that for a multi-year period. Um, I'm 35, I'm a bit older, and I've had depression and stuff. Uh, but uh, I've been able to uh, get into a better headspace since then. I've done a lot of self-improvement the right way this time, not the, like the pre uh, I You know, long story short, I got things figured out, and I'm trying to move forward with my life. And um, one of the things, I really like working with people. Um, some people like hate meetings and stuff, project meetings. I love meetings. I love doing sales and customer service. So I thought, why not try sales work at home? Um, I also have a little bit of foot problems, so I have to get this work at home thing working for me. Um, and you know, I could do like programming if things don't work out, but I really love people skills. So pe learning about people, not people skills, but I learn learning, work, work, I love working with people. That's one of my passions. And I always try to think to myself, what makes other people excited? What drives other people? What makes other people motivated? Stuff like that. And, um, you know, uh, I've been shifting my mentality and I want to say that I actually did a lot of sales jobs in the past before because I, I still was interested in people back then. But like the way that I was approaching because I had PTSD and anxiety and stuff like like I just did as I got instead of crushing it in sales, I got crushed in sales um, and I sort of developed a fee, even though I wanted to get good at it because of the strat the negative the poor strategy that I was implementing and this environment that I was in that headspace that I was in I actually ended up developing sort of a fear of sales like almost like a phobia I, I remember one point where I had um so much fear about uh phone call f phones after working at a call center for a few uh, for a year that I had trouble talking to people on the phone even if they were my regular friends um so I'm getting I'm I'm not I'm not at a point where like I'm not like all these other YouTubers who are very good at insurance or ho retail wholesaler or SMM marketing cold calling sales. I'm not there yet. I want to get there. I want to be good at sales, but um, for me at least, it's been uh, I've been from a point of where I was so bad that I had a fear of sales to getting the point where I'm sort of neutralized. And I, you know, like yesterday, I called I think thirty numbers, talked to about five people, on uh, all rejections, but it's getting better. Like. So, so like I'm getting so uh, I'm getting to a point from where I was super fearful of it to the point where I'm getting neutral at it and from neutral I want to get better at it and keep keep improving my working my muscle and improving in my uh, sales um, sales uh, motivation I guess uh, and um, I uh, not sales motivation but sales like just just being more aggressive in sales like like trying to get that sale and be more successful like that drive more I guess. Um, that's something I'm lacking a little bit right now, but I'm trying to get more of it. So one thing that I've been doing is I've been talking to a lot of people on Discord, obviously, just to improve my social skills because I've been a shut-in for so long. I had to just get, put myself out there and talk to a lot of people. And, um, uh, you know, I, I can, I, I, I do go to in-person events too occasionally, but, you know, like whenever I go outside, I try to, like, if I'm waiting in line, I always try to talk to the person in front of me or behind me. Um, if I'm, uh, you know, like if I'm... Uh, at the gym or something i try to open conversations with people who are working out you know s small stuff like that um just talking with everybody um and uh, uh one thing that i've worked on is um uh, i've always been trying to figure out how do i make people feel good and how to like hurry up good feelings in other people and do that faster and faster and faster because i thought I, I feel like that was the crux of the social uh, skills that i was missing so i'm really getting uh, really improving my skills at that and that sort of decreased my fear of phone sales because I'm always thinking if that person, if I made the f person feel annoyed or uncomfortable through my cold call, what what caused that? What can I do to improve so I make them feel more comfortable, more relaxed, make them feel more respected? How do I carry up trust? How do I make them feel more good feelings? And when I, once I started brainstorming these and how do I become more helpful? How do I offer more customer service, even if it's a cold call? Like, how do I do these things? Like, how do I become a better, more positive person, I guess? like with a more um, upbeat attitude and constantly brainstorming about these things. First thing I wake up, last thing I think I want to go to sleep. Um, you know, a little bit, I have some other things going on so I can't do it 24 seven, but I, I try to do it like maybe three or four hours a day, just thinking about that. What can I improve on? How do I leave a better impression on people and stuff like that? And that that mode of thinking started to decrease my sales anxiety a little bit and I'm 
becoming obviously you see my um cold calls are not super smooth yet but i'm getting better at it where i'm uh being more at ease myself and putting the clients at more ease just having more rapport building conversation through a cold call so you know i just wanted to that's that's my journal strategy like how do i make how do i carry up good feelings in people everywhere i go and especially how do i do it in cold calls and customer service and sales presentations so yeah that's uh that's the main thing that i uh, am uh working on so i hope you guys i just want to give that a quick quickly share that because i thought you know i'm making a lot of um uh vlogs on well a cold call recordings but just to give you guys a insight on what what actually goes on in my head and what i'm trying to improve on so stuff like that so yeah that's that's kind of what we're working on if you have any questions feel free to leave it in the comment i try to reply um all i i used to not reply to any of my um uh, programming video tutorials because i just really hated it and i really didn't really like engaging with it but i really love sales i really love customer service type of things i love starting my own home home remote business right now so if you do leave a comment I'll, i'd be more than happy to respond not all the time because you know i do get uh, more comments nowadays but um because i'm more active on youtube obviously but um you know if if uh you know if time permits i'll i'll try to answer every single question that i get reply to every single comment you know i love interacting with my community um, i'm also building friends and networking with people you guys here uh other sales people here because it's always good to build like a like a mastermind of salesmen and try to help each other improve and get to better success and achieve more financial success too i guess because you know it's a tough business at least in the beginning um so yeah uh, leave a comment um drop a like if you like uh, subscribe uh, i i noticed that i was losing a little bit of subscribers in some of my videos because a lot of my previous subscribers were for for programming not for sales but i'm into sales right now so i want to start you know i, I got like 60 subscribers in the last 30 days which is better than before uh but uh, i'm trying to create a, a network of sales people for now um and i really want to get good at this so yeah drop me a like um uh, you know, I've been watching a lot of wholesale, retail sales videos, insurance sales videos, and also um, SMMA. SMMA is easier to access because, like, for wholesale, retail, insurance, you have to actually buy leads, which costs a lot. Whereas um, SMMA you can just cold call, and you know, lead generation is, costs nothing. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm hoping this is gonna work out for me. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll reply. And it was nice meeting with you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed my videos. I'm gonna try and pump out some more. I'm uh, gonna get gonna get gonna try and do two hours of cold calling today see if that, see how that works i'm gonna see if i can book at least one meeting um and uh yeah i'm just improving my skills uh thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time so